Telephones have been around for so long, it's hard to find anyone still alive who can remember life without them. That is unless you're over the age of 40 and grew up in the town of Bone, Idaho. Yeah, Bone. Cool name, right? But it's a little behind when it comes to communications, which is actually okay for those that live there. And it's why we wanted to know more about Bone. We're heading to the eastern side of the state to get to know Bone, Idaho. Around 1910, Bone, Idaho was born. Soon after, the Bone store set up shop. It has since closed. And by the way, how do you get there? Why, the Bone Road, known to some as Idaho's loneliest road, but also the route for a long run known as the Bone and Back Relay Race. 50 years ago, you couldn't even make a relay team out of the year-round residence. I think there were three people that lived here year-round, and then uh, we were the next ones to, to come and live year-round. Former state representative Tom Lurcher's family, they have lived in this high country for five decades. He was one of the first modern families to do so. But back then, it wasn't exactly modern. The town didn't get its first phone service until the 1980s, the last hamlet in Idaho to do so. Oh, gosh, I believe it was 1983 is when the phone lines were put in. In fact, there, there was quite a big blurb about it. We, had, we were on national television because of it, and they, they gave all the residents up here a free telephone. So The landlines still work. Cell phones don't. And these days, Mr. Lurcher says, the population has peaked at about 50 full-time. Almost a full-fledged metropolis. Well, sort of. We're well spaced out. Our nearest neighbor's two miles away, and we don't even see some of them very often. Oh, one other thing. What do you call the people who live in Bone? Uh, people who live in Bone. <laughs> oh, we've been called a lot of stuff, and a lot of stuff you can't say on the air. Yeah, Mr. Lurcher navigated that question like a natural politician. By the way, the town named after its founder, Orland Bone. And the Bone Store has switched hands over the years and right now sits empty waiting for its next reincarnation. As you saw in that piece, there's a block letter sign that sits on a telephone or a power pole, I should say, that tells you you found the Bone Store, which is kind of how you know where you are in a lot of places in rural Idaho. 